Hi guys, you're welcome to Dental Storm. Most times, love us battle to maintain a balance in our lives. Whether in school or at work, that balance will be kept if we need to maintain a high level of productivity. Certain factors including procrastination, poor motivation, low energy, no focus, and easy distractibility destabilize us and make us less productive. But then, you may ask, why is being productive so important? Well, if you're productive, you'll increase your earning potential, you'll get more work done under less time, you can take on harder as well as more important tasks, which means you'd have more time to do the things you enjoy. So in today's video, I will highlight several simple and practical ways you can double your productivity. Whether you're a student or a worker, this video is for you. Let's begin. 1. Use the Eisenhower Decision Matrix In 1954, Dwight David Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States of America, said in a speech, and I quote, I have two kinds of problems, the urgent and the important. The urgent are not important and the important are never urgent. Eisenhower had developed a strategy to boost his productivity by stratifying tasks. This strategy was termed the Eisenhower Decision Matrix. It helps one quickly determine what tasks should be worked on and which others should be ignored. The matrix consists of a 2x2 two two square with two columns and two rows. On the columns, urgent and not urgent are situated, while on the rows, there is important and not important. The Eisenhower Decision Matrix makes it easier to see what really matters at the time and ensures you don't waste time being less productive. 2. Develop a strategy If I ask 10 people what it means to be strategic, I'm pretty sure I'd get 10 different answers. That's because developing a strategy could be complex and has several layers to it. However, you could put it down to strategic thinking, planning and implementation. Strategic thinking involves taking out time to creatively deliberate over your work or study circumstances. This includes asking yourself what your short and long term goals are, if there is any progress being made and if you are willing to positively confront the current situation of things. At the end of the day, you must envision the certainty of success and a positive outlook for the future. After you establish that vision, you must now convert it into a plan. The plan must be specific to you, consisting of set goals and objectives you wish to accomplish. The final stage is strategic implementation. Here, the plan you've drawn up is put into effect and action taken ensuring all key milestones are achieved. So, whether you're planning a project or preparing for exams, developing a strategy must be a key step to take if you wish to stop your productivity. Number 3. Write a to-do list Instead of wasting away your day oblivious about what to do or what to study, writing a to-do list would be a great idea. This list should contain all the activities you would do throughout the day from waking up first thing in the morning to brushing your teeth and even doing the laundry. A to-do list for your study sessions or work activities should be a subset of that period highlighting specific areas of work or study you would need to cover. Each item on that list should be ticked off when completed. Doing this on a daily basis ensures your efficiency at work or in school is increased and productivity doubled, if not tripled. 4. Keep a journal Keeping a journal is as simple as writing one's daily activities in a book. But it may not be that simple. Some people find it a huge task, others find it boring, while others feel their handwriting sucks. Whatever the case is, keeping a journal requires no fancy or flowery expressions, but merely plainly worded sentences that describe your day. These daily summarized regurgitations of your activities enable you to keep track of your achievements or lack thereof, and 
help remind you of things you need to complete. 5. Do things at your own pace. To a lot of us out there, being more productive is synonymous to doing a lot of activities under a short period of time. Even though this might work in certain instances, it is generally not the most beneficial mindset. Using it to frame everything you do at work or in school is not sure to reap many rewards. Besides, getting weighed down by heavy workload could stifle your productivity and performance altogether. Therefore, to prevent spreading yourself too thin, do things at your own pace. Streamline your activities based on milestones you can achieve with the least form of stress possible. I guess when you narrow your focus, you expand your potential to get more things achieved. Number six, do important tasks first. Assuming there's nothing urgent to accomplish on your list of activities, there are some tasks that are very important. It is your responsibility to determine those tasks that are of high value as well as those that should be left alone or delegated to others to do. Please don't forget your Eisenhower decision matrix. It would provide tons of help in that regard. The ability to do this is a quality of highly productive individuals who place priority on those important tasks and understand that not all tasks can be completed. 7. Cut down on multitasking I have noted before that it is better to narrow your focus and embark on one task at a time so as to get more things achieved. That is not to say that there aren't people who are professional multitaskers. Multitasking isn't merely doing two things at once, it involves quickly changing focus between two or more items. For a lot of us, quickly changing focus from one item to another causes a momentary loss of concentration which requires a little more time to get to speed with. For instance, imagine talking to your boss over the phone while trying to write the means of a meeting you need to submit the next morning. Or fat on watching your favorite TV program while listening to an audiobook. These instances depict a disadvantageous competition for the same mental resource. Therefore, cutting down on multitasking would make you more productive and is certainly one of the most positive habits to cultivate. Number 8. Always learn something new. Learning something new on a regular basis is a superb avenue to double your productivity. It would also help add more impact and value to whatever you do. Reading books or going to workshops, aside adding new knowledge, would also improve the skills you use at work as well as in daily life. Subsequently, you'd have to practice and test out the knowledge you've gained from reading. This way, you identify areas of success, failure, and weaknesses which ultimately ensure improvements are constantly taking place. Furthermore, it keeps you abreast of the changes in skill or knowledge demand which you will continue to face at work or in school. Number 9. Let someone else track your progress. Whether it's with your spouse, a friend, colleague, a close schoolmate, it is a great idea to share your goals. Subsequently, it is important that person asks you about your progress. Having someone other than yourself holding you accountable does ensure you are more likely to complete your tasks. Watch your productivity level skyrocket because A. You are motivated by the need not to disappoint that person and B. You are buoyed by the support and encouragement they offer when you do achieve your goals. So you see, letting someone track your progress helps you stay focused on the task at hand and increases your productivity. Finally, number 10. Celebrate accomplishments. Each time you have accomplished a task, it's important to take a step back and celebrate your success. Constantly forgetting to do this will most likely result in you getting burnt out. That zeal to complete the next best thing will disappear and the motivation to stay focused on your goals will evaporate. What will really help you stay motivated in achieving your goals is celebrating along the way. 
no matter how small the progress is, celebrating helps keep track on them and enhances your productivity. So, be sure to take time out to celebrate whenever you accomplish a goal. Let's recap. 10 simple and practicable ways to double your productivity include 1. Use the Eisenhower decision matrix. 2. Develop a strategy. 3. Write a to-do list. 4. Keep a journal. 5. Do things at your own pace. 6. Do important tasks first. 7. Cut down on multitasking. 8. Always learn something new. 9. Let someone track your progress. And 10. Celebrate accomplishments. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.